you're on everyone's tongues, you know. Coin and... Priscilla. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange. It's very laugh when he says Dudu. I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Due to not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends I need a Dudu. message with someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the same by everyone yes. this morning. Much surprise didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the fox's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help, we need only he doesn't buy do much to Irina and Grusha. Deeply in debt to him. We'll probably talk about it tonight. You know, it comes on. To do do into something, lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, oh, yeah. Dudu was away his days attending mummings he knows by heart. So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? <sighs> yes, all clear. All clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Good Sounds idea. Great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenmore. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But. At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavella. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can Hi. Choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with the Doppler's salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. 
a witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Let's go for a comedy for some fun. Comedy is the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Rhyme for Witcher? Um, what? <sighs> Done. I could make a small mask. Bitcher. A bit more time, but. We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or. That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So, how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. See ya, Priscilla. Take the scripts to uh, Irina. Irina? I don't know. It's clear as the eternal fire. Not good at reading. Ah! They say some witches suffering ah! from the scoundrel. That's a place of culture, not a trough for swine to trudge to. How do I get in then? Where are you going? That's a place of culture, not a trough for swine to trudge to. You got a key. Now it lets me talk to him. This where Madame Marina's troupe performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah. yeah. One. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Holy moly! As they say, Hello! Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theatre. We'll be undisturbed there. Yes, ma'am. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Doodoo -doo recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And... 
who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks. Thanks. See you. Back once I found some ushers. See you then. Head to the docks and hire the ushers for the play. Just look at the freak. I just put in my foot. like this would fetch a fortune into it. Staging a play. Lead us to kick some ass on stage. Actually, shiny nipples. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking is what we what? do. <laughs> How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed romance. Stay in the business. You'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on the same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Agreed. Fine. Fight. Both. Fight, 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 fight. Lose, and it stays with us. Double the wages, as promised. But if about I win, I get it back. Hell, finish him. Got something special like that. Woo! 
That was good. Well, well. I know often you get such a lovely trash in hell. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. Can't stop showing the man's nipples. Your coin? Have it, man. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Recruit jugglers from the performing troupe called the Puffins. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. Uh, will you publicize right. the play? See, I get Fatso and his boys to leave. I'm you angry. Alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Oh, I'm talking oh, about the game. You shan't find but I'm easy. hungry. <laughs> There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Yeah, no, but then it's like I don't know what she's ordered, and it would be nothing for me as usual. Someone sounds like they're getting raped on your game. Oh, dare you to say it again. oh okay. What's screaming? Watch his whirling! Oh, it's not annoying. I don't mind. So you're the ones. Oh, I thought so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? I got right cat eyes. Does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire? Cat shit. Leave the puffins alone. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insult with our arch emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic. He's a fucking witch. Get him! <gasps> Fight! <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my right the kisser. hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come You're on. welcome. It was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right? I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Oh, 
Fight! 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 Oh, nice. Ah, right, let's go back to the lady. Oh, Done the things for you, madam. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Yeah. All's yours. Don't experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier. Outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's do it, man. It and give to <laughs> He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script. Of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Let's show Zoltan, them my acting skills. <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you're you going to wear hose and a codpiece. Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. It's title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. 
And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... And no man is my measure. He's swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins, heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> oh, darling. I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah, it is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes, but a lack of morals and a surfeit of cakes. <coughs> Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind yeah. with this plan so This play thing I'm doing. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed, beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No oh. monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just, a true Doppler's friend.
But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the God! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray and scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Guilt. Show us. Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. 
But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Meet Sultan at the site of the ambush. Cool, cool. They say Sultan. Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, uh, wouldn't it have been easier to have him? Really stand your line and, and, and be done with it. Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Would have watched the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't, Don't really right. feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here.
dandelion. Damn it. Buttons. Geralt, go after him. Leave these here to us. Sky buttons. Watch it. Three more on, ships at the hole. A lot. Why are you getting stuck, twat? Come on. Shit. Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Road through here. Ha ha. Found. Alright, buttons. That's it, Roach. Follow the trail. Are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Still going. Calm down, Roach. Just bees. This is taking a while. Saddle like a sack. Oh, why? Something of the kind dashed by. Turned left there. But where a wench you were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. <laughs> Dandelion, you wench. Run, Roach. Thank you, sir. Still there. I'm following the trail now. Why is it telling? Faster. God's sake! I'm following it. Oh my God. Go, go. Um... Makes sense now. Hmm. Looks like it might have started limping. Oh no, what happened to the... Can't be far. 
Excuse me, fellas. What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out before we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired. I, jabbering the whole time. Hmm. Dandelion. So hunters barricaded themselves inside. There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest. We'd see you all gone, but he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door around the back. Thanks. Whoopsie. And the back to the rear. Going down. And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could wring your neck like a fat end, you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie, like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Pelsrath by Count Galetton Hope. You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet. Oh, yeah. Ow. Found you down the line. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this last to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt... Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Move, bitch, get out of the way. Well. Got away with that. The fuck's that? Oh, it's a person. Leave your horse! We have to! We're almost there! Dandelion! Come on! That's it, you're in for it! Ah, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Nobody's gonna read that drivel. Sheesh. What crawled into your britches and bit you? I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's gotta come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Orson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Orson's dead. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Orson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Orson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Orson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Glad if Don Ep tonight, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talked to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, 
looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So, Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today.